I'm very optimistic on Bitcoin. I own Bitcoin. I'm going to buy more Bitcoin. I also have Ethereum. I have no Doge coins. To me, that's uh, that's different. That's a mania. You see, China has not liked Bitcoin forever. You know, in 2013, they said don't buy Bitcoin. 2014, they said don't buy Bitcoin. 2015, they said don't buy Bitcoin. And 2016, I think they said don't buy Ethereum. So when the press comes out and says the reason Bitcoin crashed is because China tra tra trashed it. Well, that's, they've always trashed it. That's not the reason it's crashing. So there's three kinds of people in the world when it comes to money. There's an investor, a trader, and a speculator. I am an investor. So the moment I started buying Bitcoin, I wasn't a trader. A trader is somebody's going to buy it and sell it. A trader, like in real estate, is kind of a, a flipper. They buy a house to flip it. That's what traders do. And a speculator is a gambler. And I would say most people who are chasing Doge coins and stuff, and they're speculators. They're all kind of gamblers. That's not what I do. So I, I am an investor. I understand trading. That's what Andy Tanner and all those guys teach us how you, you can make money going up and make money coming down. It makes no, when Bitcoin crash, I made more. You see, and the guys who are losing money right now is because you're not a trader, you're a speculator. So don't say, oh, you hate Bitcoin. No, I think you're stupid. That's what I'm saying, but it doesn't mean I hate Bitcoin. Okay, so don't be a speculator because those are gamblers. See, in 1960 and 1980, my generation, the boomers, didn't like stocks because everybody at my time of when I was a kid, everybody said anybody invests in the stock market is a gambler. Now, everybody's in this. So how did that happen? Well, in 1974, they brought this thing called a 401k out. I won't touch that. I would not touch a 401k or an IRA. Why? Because I don't have, you know, they tell you exactly to tell you when to wear the mask and get a vaccine. They tell you what to invest in a 401k. So today you have my generation, the boomers, they're hanging on by a thread due to historical events coming in. So now the stock market is at an all time high. It's nuts. And the reason it's all time high is because our CEOs are borrowing money from the treasury to repurchase their own stocks. So we don't have a real economy. We don't have a real stock market. And the U.S., the Fed is greatly in debt. The U.S. is greatly in debt. What happened is in 1987, the stock market crashed. So Greenspan comes out. He's a Federal Reserve guy. Remember, the Federal Reserve is not American. It's not a government agent. So he came out and what Greenspan put was what I call a PPT. It's the Plunge Protection Team, or also called the Greenspan put, or also what people say, don't fight the Fed. Basically, what Greenspan did is every time the stocks crash, plunge protection to protect you. So my generation, the boomers, are going, well, I don't have to worry because every time the market crashes, the Federal Reserve Bank and the Treasury will bail me out. So that's today we have our U.S. corporations, our zombie. 20% of U.S. corporations are zombie corporations. It means they're broke, but they're being propped up by the Federal Reserve Bank and the government. That's communism. So anyway, stocks get protected. Gold is a good investment. Fed. All the central banks in the world now own, so they're not going to let, so here's stocks, the, the government will, will make sure it doesn't crash. Gold will not crash. You know why? Because the Fed doesn't want it. Because the reason I like crypto, the reason I buy Bitcoin and Ethereum and all that stuff is I don't like the Fed. When I talk to most of the young guys, they don't like the Fed either. But the problem is, and this is why you've got to be smart, is that the Fed wants to take this out. The European Central Bank, the ECB, wants to take it out. The Bank of Japan wants to take it out. The Bank of China wants it. So that's why you crypto guys, you be smarter. To We're going into one of the roughest periods of humanity. And the problem is, in my, from my perspective, is the dollar. And so if you understand the dollar, U.S. dollar versus the loonie, it was created in 1913, but so was the tax department. So what they're going to do, we have so much debt today, they're going to have to keep printing. But every time they do that, it creates more poverty. The system is failing. So we're going to have more homelessness, more unemployment, and the government has to print more money. The baby boom generation had it really easy, and that's the problem. And so in a, when it comes to real education, it's like, you know, you spent, so the boomers have spent all their lives learning how to use their right hand, and now... They know something is changing, but they can't change. So it's like saying, I'm going from my right hand, I'm going to have to learn how to eat my left hand. And so what happens is the brain gets kind of locked into a mode. And then you have to kind of relearn everything again, because learning is really physical. It's not just mental like they have in school. If you look historically, what's happened today is the nominal debt to GDP is a correlation of M2, the volume of money, times the velocity of money. 
And, and the reason Yellen and Powell are scrambling is because they've expanded M2, so everybody thinks it's going to be inflation. But velocity of money, the velocity of money is plummeting. People are not spending. So they pump all this money in, prices go up. Meanwhile, the Asians are catching up now. They're, 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 the ports are finally open. So tra- it is transitory inflation. But the problem is we're stacked with this massive debt, and, and all it's done is bump up the stock market and real the money has not gone into the economy that's the sad part so the rich get richer but the poor and middle class are getting poorer it is tragic what's happening before we continue help us clicking that youtube like button and subscribe now to our channel this shows the algorithm that you valued this information and it helps us spread that message sharing is caring and now let's continue I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time, they get your life. You are not even in a rat race, you're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know, but I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available, and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave, you forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marco Stan.